Hey guys, so I'm back with a follow-up um, question and answer. You guys had a lot of questions after you watched my day in the life videos and answer questions I get a lot. So I'm going to try and cover as many as I can in a short amount of time and then if you guys have any more questions in the future just comment them below or shoot me a message or anything like that. I love interacting with you guys and answering questions that you may have. The first question is, what music do you listen to when you're working out? Or what music is playing on your Snapchat videos or Instagram story videos that I hear in the background? I will link my playlist below, but I have a Spotify playlist. It's a lot of Christian rap and there's some upbeat like dance type music and it's mostly all Christian music, mostly because my kids are around and I don't want any bad language or bad topics or anything like that when I'm working out so and I don't want them to hear that. I like Christian music so I mean it's good. There's a lot of good Christian music um, rap. I love Christian rap music. I don't normally listen to rap but for some reason I love Christian rap. Especially when I'm lifting. I don't know it just pumps me up and just motivates me. I'll link my playlist below. It's a Spotify. It's Tori Lynn Fitness. Work it out. So that's what the playlist is titled. I try and add things to it once in a while, but I don't always have a lot of time to do so. But I recently added a new Lecrae song that I really like, so go check that out. Alright, next question. I saw you eating toast in one of your snaps. What type of bread do you eat? Normally I'll eat like a Ezekiel bread or a knockoff Ezekiel bread or some kind of sprouted grain bread but I do eat whole wheat bread as well. Sprouted grain bread goes bad really quick because it's fresh and it's the best, but um, I do keep whole wheat bread in the house as well. I just use a whole wheat bread and I make sure the very first ingredient is stone ground whole wheat or stone ground wheat flour. You don't want the bleached and enriched um, flour uh, wheat flour is okay, but the stone ground is the best one if you're going for wheat bread. And But the very best is either sprouted grain or Ezekiel or I just recently found a brown rice bread. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. The verdict is still out on that one, so I'll let you guys know after I try it. The next question is, how can your daughter take a nap if you're leaving to go get your other daughter at school? This question came up because I said in my first day in life video that I was putting my youngest daughter to bed and then going to get my other from school, my oldest daughter from school. I should have clarified this. My husband works from home. I'm able to put my youngest down for a nap and leave her at home because my husband's still at home and then take either my middle child, he comes with me, or I go and get both of them from school, depending on what day it is. We're very fortunate that my husband works from home. He helps out so much, and I'm able to leave my youngest home for a nap and not interrupt her schedule to be, and then to be able and go pick up my other ones from school. Should have clarified that first. Okay, another question is, how often do you do HIT? Uh, first, let me say HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training, which is intervals, which I do 30 or 45 seconds of exercise, which these are the videos I always post on my Instagram and Facebook pages. These are the types of workouts that I share with you guys because they're body weight and they're easy. You can do them, not easy, but they're body weight and you can do them just about anywhere. You just need a little bit of space and you can do them. HIIT training, I only do once a week, sometimes twice a week if I mix them in with a strength workout. The reason being is they're so intense and they break down your body a lot that you don't want to do them all the time. You need enough time in between the HIIT for your body to recover and everything and you don't want to put that much pounding and that much hard exercise every single day. So you need to take a break. Do steady state once in a while, which steady state cardio is running, swimming, biking, anything that your heart rate at a steady pace where you're not jumping your heart rate up like in the HIIT workouts and then it coming back down and then going up and down. It's more just that steady 
pace. So that leads to the next question of how often do you run? I'm not in running training mode right now, so I'm only running once or twice a week, and that's more so just for my heart health, um, just for getting that cardio in, and kind of just for me to clear my mind. Running for me is just me clearing my mind, just getting out on that pavement and either listening to a sermon, a podcast, music, or sometimes I don't even listen to anything at all and just try and clear my brain. So right now I'm only running one or two times a week when I'm training for something, either half marathon or something that's more running involved, a race or something, then I'll run three times a week, maybe four, and I'll do like two short runs and one longer run or something like that. I'm not really doing any long runs. My longest run is like four miles. That's not very long, <laughs> right? Now. All right, next question. This one's kind of funny. How are you so adorable and relatable? I don't really think I'm adorable, I guess. I don't know, but relatable because I'm just a normal everyday person and the things I post, I try and just post real life, mom stuff, um, what I'm eating or whatever, I try and make it as relatable as possible because it's real life. It's really me, it's real situations I'm in or my kids or whatever and I want you guys to be able to relate to me and not feel like, oh I could never achieve that or I could never be like that or I could never do that. I want you guys to see that I'm a real person and I have real struggles and my kids are driving me crazy sometimes but we have lots of fun sometimes so and I know you guys go through that too so I love just showing you guys real life I'm just a real person I'm just a normal person I'm nobody special I'm just just like you all right next question how old are your kids if you just started following me you might not know I have three kids I don't really share them a lot on social media because of their privacy. I want to try and you know protect them and everything. I do share them on Snapchat and Instagram stories once in a while. I just try not to go in too much detail with them because it's their personal private life. They didn't sign up for me to be sharing their lives all the time. So when they're old enough to make that decision or let me know that they want to be filmed, then that's okay. But I try not to share too much of them. But my kids are seven and a half. So my oldest is going into second grade. My middle child is five and a half, he's going into kindergarten next year, and my youngest is two and a half, and she'll be three uh, when school starts. So that's my kids. That kind of relates to another question I got asked was, how old were you when you had your kids? I got married when I was 23, and I had my first child at 24. Turned 25, like right after I had my oldest child, my first child. We are technically about 25 years apart, but we did not wait very long to start having kids. And I just, I knew I wanted to have kids and he wanted to have kids and we wanted to have um, our kids kind of close and be a young family. So we just felt the time was right. God just kind of let things happen the way they did. What is your favorite active wear brands? I'm all about being frugal and getting a deal and saving money. So I try not to spend too much on active wear because I'm just going to sweat in it and I don't, I can't justify spending $100 on a pair of leggings when I'm just going to get get them gross and sweat in them. A lot of people aren't sure about Fabletics, but their leggings are great, their sports bras are great, and all their tank tops I've gotten are great. I really like their leggings, they are comfortable, they are true to size, and I really like them a lot. I also like Old Navy's leggings and their tank tops. Target's leggings are okay. Um, I like their tank tops are fine. Any tank tops are fine for me. Uh, Forever 21, their quality is not the best, but their sports bras are super cute, like all the strappy back ones. And their tank tops are really cute and comfy. Their leggings, you have to look through. You can't, I wouldn't order from Forever 21 online, but if you can go into the store, I would check them out in the store and just feel them and see how they, how the quality is. Though a lot of leggings that I bought from them have been really good quality. My all time favorite brand right now is Pop Flex Active Wear. I love, love, love their leggings. They are so comfortable. They hug you in all the right places. They are slimming. I found that they make your booty still look nice. A lot of times tight leggings, like 
make you look flat or squeeze you in too much and you don't have any shape. But I feel like pop flexes fit in all the right places and still keep your shape of your legs and they hold your tummy in. If you want to have that tummy control, it holds your tummy in too. I have tried a couple of their tops and I think one or two sports bras and everything I've gotten from them I love. But my favorite, favorite, favorite is their leggings. So far, every pair of leggings I've gotten from them I love and they have the little pocket on the side too. Next question, what is your sports background? So I grew up dancing. I was a competitive dancer. Um, that was my sport and some of you may say it's not a sport but it was a sport especially when you're in that studio in that dance studio for multiple hours and you're running through routines or you're doing conditioning or whatever it is you're doing it is tough I would come out of there soaking wet sweated after every single Saturday practice it is definitely a sport so don't let anyone tell you otherwise I grew up doing competitive dance but my brother played sports and so we were just an active family. My dad had a boat so we would go out on the lake and wakeboard or do the wake surfing or we were just an all around active family and still are. My parents are still very active. My brother is a BMX rider. My dad rides BMX and wakeboards and knee boards. My mom does all my strong her workouts and exercises and lift weights. So we're still a very active family, but my background is dance. So someone asked, what does your daily calorie intake look like? Okay, so right now I'm not counting macros, calories. I'm more of a portion control person where I make sure my portion sizes are right and that I'm getting the food groups that I need. And I try and eat as clean as possible and follow the 80-20 rule, which the 80-20 rule is you try and eat as clean as possible and as good as possible 80% of the time and then leave that 20% for a treat or um, to go off track a little bit. I don't believe in depriving yourself. I'm not a bikini competitor or doing any kind of shows or competitions right now. So I don't really feel I need to track that stuff. I'm just trying to live as healthy of a life as possible and something that's sustainable. So as I go on in my journey and just in life, that it's something that I can do daily. So I don't really have a calorie number, but I do just try and make sure that I'm eating the best foods possible. And also I carb cycle once in a while. So if you want to know more about carb cycling, you can join my stronger group. I'll link below. And we go over carb cycling a little bit more and I try and teach you guys about that and how to incorporate that into your lifestyle. So this is a question I get all the time. Where are your pink weight plates from? They are from X Training Equipment and you can find them on Amazon or on their website. I will link it below and it will take you directly to the weights online. Very last question is how do you deal with picky kids? My oldest daughter will eat just about anything. She'll try just about anything. She's really not too picky. Sometimes she's picky about when she eats certain things. I don't know why, but she'll try just about anything. My middle, he used to like anything, and now he's super picky. He won't eat most vegetables. He won't eat a lot of fruit. The only fruit he'll eat is like strawberries, grapes, and apples. And then my youngest is kind of picky. Um, she'll try things and then if she doesn't like it, she'll pull it and spit it out and give it to me. My tip with that is if you have a picky eater, don't stress about it because it's only going to drive you crazy and stress you out more and stress your kids out. So what I would say is just keep introducing foods to them and if they don't like it, that's okay. Just give them the foods that they like. If they only like applesauce, just give them applesauce. If they only like strawberries for a while, just give them strawberries. The most important thing is that they're eating and thriving and you're not starving them. <laughs> but if you keep introducing those things to them, I think eventually they will like them as they get older. And if not, it's okay. They'll find things that they like as they get older. I'll give you an example. I used to hate green beans and now I love them. So you never know. Their taste buds may change. They may change their minds. They may grow out of it. But I would just say keep introducing things to them. And if they don't like it, they don't like it, don't stress about it. And you never know, they may end up liking something if you keep just introducing it to them. All right guys, that's it for this question and answer. Thank you so much for sending me all those questions. 
and for all your support. You can ask more questions below if you have any more questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully I can do more videos like this for you guys and I also have a new house update coming up soon. Alright, thank you guys so much. See you next time.